Does caffeine make you faster? There is nothing like a strong cup of coffee for a mid-ride pickup. But does it really make you that much faster? Or is it all in your head? It's time some GCN does science. Guys, why are we all sitting like this? I don't know. I've designed an experiment. Close to here is the Alp de W, a fearsome 2.4 kilometer climb, Alpine vibes. I challenge Hank to a race. Good news is we're both gonna have two strong cups of coffee beforehand. But there is a catch. One of them will be drinking decaf coffee and the other normal caffeinated. But then next week we're gonna come back. I'm gonna flip the script. Oh, I'll see who wins after all. Me. It's gonna be me. You never win. Right, come on, let's go get some coffee. Could I please have two decaf Americanos and just two regular Americanos as well, please? Oh, coffee morning serves. coffee. I'm desperate. So, I'm gonna have one all morning. I'm just hoping I've got the caffeine. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping I'll, I need the caffeine. Right, who's who's, man? So. Oh, why did you get black? So you can't tell the difference. Oh no, I, no, actually, I'll go like this. What? I'll go like this. Oh, I really don't know who's who's. <laughs> right, what two? Yeah, we need you need to get the caffeine in you. You need to really feel it. I'm if actually you've got caffeine. That is. <laughs> I'm actually really interested to know if caffeine makes a difference. I kind of relied on it for the last ten years. I've needed it, well, but so is it I, all in your head? That's it. I mean, I'm wondering if it's a placebo in some form. But anyway, to get us through the science, let's hear from Andy from Precision Fuel and Hydration. He was the lowdown. Well, I tuck it. Bottoms up. Bottoms up, old chap. Cheers. Caffeine is one of the few supplements out there that's actually proven to enhance athletes' performance. It's a stimulant and it works on the brain, the central nervous system and on the muscles so that it enables you to go faster and push harder for longer if you use it in the right way. Figuring out if caffeine is really going to work for you is probably something that you find out as an adult as part of your lifestyle. If you're someone who drinks coffee and tea and caffeinated soft drinks and gets on well with them and feel the benefits of caffeine without some of the downsides, then it's, there's a strong likelihood that caffeine is going to work for you as an athlete as well. Not everybody responds to caffeine in exactly the same way. I hate coffee. And that's down to, to genetics and metabolism. Some people metabolise caffeine really quickly and get a lot of benefits from it without the downsides downsides, other people metabolise it slowly and they don't get the benefits. Genetic testing can help identify this, but most of the time people learn this through practical day-to-day -day life because they decide whether a cup of coffee in the morning really helps them or hinders them for their day. Oh, coffee's a drunk. How are you feeling? I'm feeling alive, I'm feeling ready. No idea if I've had I'm the so interested to know. <laughs> right, time to hit the climb. This one's a big yeah. one, one of my favourites. and. Uh, it's for sure going to get our heart rates going. Let's do it. If the coffee hasn't. We've made it to the bottom of the Alp de W, and this is a climb that's very local to Hank. He knows it very well, so it might be an advantage there, Hank, but hit us with some stats. 2.4 kilometers long, average gradient for the first 1.4 kilometers, around about 10%, but we're doing the full length that finishes at the top of the common. I used to hold the KOM, now I don't. Someone called Feather. Took it off me. Well, it's your chance to get the KOM back today. You feeling good? Yes. I'm feeling good. I was humming, I believe, miracles on the way here. I was feeling happy. So I feel like okay, now that's, I've had that's the Connor thinks he's a sexy thing. Okay, oh, anyway. Well, there's some energy within me that's come from somewhere, and I am ready to rumble. You're like a kid on, on <laughs> Sweet Shop. Right, I'm going to set you off at exactly the same time, so it's going to be a little bit of a race. I will not be taking part in this because I am riding in zone two and zone two only, so I might be a while, might have to walk this climb. Um, anyway, are we ready, yeah. team? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! I believe in miracles off to the start in the dream. A long old climb, this, though. Oh, God. Heart rate's there. 
150. There's been a lot of research over the years into the ergogenic, which means the performance enhancing effects of caffeine and how athletes should use it. The recommended performance dose is usually between three and six milligrams per kilogram of body weight, which usually equates to between two and 400 milligrams or so for most normal sized adults. Now that window of, of sort of dosage has been tested in the laboratory and it's been shown that anything less than that usually isn't very effective and anything more than that really offers diminishing returns. So if you can aim for something within that three to six milligrams per kilo sweet spot, then you're probably in the right zone. Caffeine takes about 15 minutes to start showing up in your bloodstream after you've consumed it and about 50 to 60 minutes to become maximally effective. So actually taking a caffeinated drink or two about an hour before you go out on the bike if you want to be performing at your best from the start is a really good idea. It's also means that you don't want to be taking a caffeinated gel in the last three or four miles of an event because it's, that's going to kick in after the finish line. And I think that's something that a lot of athletes don't necessarily realise. If you're going to save caffeine for late on an event, you still need to take it 40 to 60 minutes before the end if you want it to help you in a final sprint or something like that. Missing that bit of zing. It makes me feel on the decaf. Pyro 165. Last 30 seconds. <laughs> right, they've made it to the top. They're pretty damn knackered. How was it? A hard. No full gas effort up a climb is easy. True. Um, but first thing in the morning, without a coffee, because I, I don't think I've had a coffee. Do you not? I still feel a bit lethargic. Do you? Yeah. What do you how do you feel, Connor? See, I, I thought I was on decaf as well on the climb, but then I managed to get into a rhythm, because Hank overtook me and I just about managed to peg him. So I was performing relatively well. Seven minutes 20 for me Ooh, up a climb. 20 Seven minutes two, so oh, I've fast. gone you know, 10 times faster than you. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> anyway. The mark no. has been set. The mark has 20 been set. 20 seconds. And we will be back in a week's time the tables will tip. For more or less caffeine. It's going to be interesting. Oh, I could do with some caffeine, mate. Right, see you in a week. See you in a week, folks. Bye, see you in a week. It's time for round two. Right. Round Get two. these down, you. Here I'll we get, go. Get your That's other fun. ones. Oh. oh, don't fall over that on. <laughs> what do you mean your other ones? You gaff. I'm uncaffeinated. Oh yeah. 100 percent How do you know? No. I think I'm just too good at my coffee. I think I is caffeinated though, but we'll see. Oh, I'm freezing. I think I've got you today. Well, you do seem very sprightly this morning. I, which this is worries the, me. This is the boost I needed and you're not getting the boost you need. Right, let's down this. Get to the climb. Yeah. Okay, we're back for round two, made it to the bottom of the hill. Coffee has been drunk. Connor, how are you feeling? What, what, how do you feel compared to last week? So I'm convinced I had the caffeine today, but then I was convinced last week and I remember I was singing on the way here and I haven't actually been singing on the way here. So I, don't, I generally don't know anymore. I'm like questioning my own caffeine abilities. So I think I'm quite a coffee connoisseur. Hank? I, I, I've got no idea. I'm, I'm feeling a little like flat today. Ooh, so I reckon I had the caffeine last week, but who so knows? It's, so it's not obvious right now? It's really not. I'm, I'm just still a bit nervous of this climb because it always scares me. Yeah, the well, important question is, will it make any difference? And will I actually manage to beat Hank? There's only one way to find out, guys. It's race time. Let's set you oh, off. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling optimistic, people. I'm feeling optimistic. I've had Hank before and I let him come back. I let him come back because I'm, I'm a nice guy. Today, there'll be no revenge. Well, no, there will be revenge. There'll be no prisoners. That's it. <laughs> right, Connor, get in the zone. Come on out. I'm always in the zone. zone. If he beats me, I'm never going to leave it down. No. Man, aren't I was born in the oh, zone. He's taking his, oh, he's taking opening God. the G leg. You might want to tuck this in, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to hold you back. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me aero myself up. Right, let's go. In three, two, one, off you go. Just 
just about. Always playing a slightly cagey game. <laughs> Come on, legs! Where are you? No cheating! Some people will definitely feel like they get a boost from caffeine immediately when they take a coffee or, or caffeinated gel. And I think it's fair to say that the physiology suggests that that is a placebo effect. And I think there is a strong placebo effect tied to the use of caffeine with a lot of people. We all feel better in the morning when we've had our cup of coffee. And I can vouch from experience that living with someone, my wife, who doesn't have caffeine, we have decaf and we have normal coffee in the house, even if I have a decaf coffee, it kind of feels like it wakes me up because it's part of my morning routine. So the, I think the placebo effect is real. I think also, as an athlete, understanding you know the, the nutritional inputs that really help you during an event um, you know carbohydrate intake fluid intake electrolyte intake they are massive levers that you can pull on to improve your performance caffeine is more of a, a marginal and minor gain so although the effects are real they they are very much so tied to the placebo effect with some people as well If you're thinking about increasing the amount of caffeine that you're taking in to increase your performance further, it's always worth bearing in mind there's a sweet spot with these things and that if you're going to increase it, make sure you're not going out of the recommended range, three to six milligrams of caffeine per kilo of body weight, and try not to do it too quickly. So you don't want to go from taking a very small dose to a very high dose. Like anything in, in physiology and training, you want to just incrementally increase. And I think one of the biggest things that most riders don't really Realize is how much caffeine they're taking in in different products and different types of foods and drinks that they're, they're um, consuming on a regular basis. So getting a handle on those numbers and what they are is really, really important. <sighs> My lungs are on fire. I think that was honestly the deepest of apologies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was back in a race. <coughs> what have we done to ourselves, Hank? Oh, gosh. All right, guys, oh. for play, I can tell you've tried very hard from all the uh, coughing and spluttering. Yeah, lungs are dead. How was it? How was the actual ride this time? And all importantly, who won at the top? So from the start, I was kind of thinking it's going to be the same. It's going to be a rerun. Hank's going to walk away with it. But actually, halfway up, I found something within myself and I did feel stronger. Okay. I managed to beat Hank, which I'm pretty chuffed with. I, I think we should mention that it was fairly tactical just because I think the headwind played a big part. Um, uh, there was a big wind coming in off the top there. But in my mind, Connor, you were stronger this time. I do think oh. I was stronger because it was a similar yeah. scenario. You went ahead, but this yeah. time I was able to reel you back yeah. in. Okay. Um, and what were the times comparing to last week? So time-wise, I was only a tad faster, um, okay. 7.19, I mean, pretty much the same time. But power-wise, I had about 40 extra watts. So I averaged Ooh. 437 watts today. That is big today. watts. I think that just shows. I, I was 20 seconds slower than last week. <clears throat> and uh, just didn't feel as comfortable. Um, interesting though, my heart rate, average was the same, 167. But the first time I was able to hit a max heart rate of 176, and this time just hit 172. It's interesting. So what do you think you had today? Caffeine or no caffeine? I'm pretty sure I didn't have any caffeine because I still feel fat. And last week? I'm pretty sure I have the caffeine. Yeah, I think the opposite to Hank, I'm, I think I had caffeine today and decaffeinated last time. But what I'm so I'm still like not entirely sure, <laughs> oh, but... Excuse me. This no. is really interesting. So, so tell us. Connor. Last week, you had caffeine. What? Hank, you had the decaf. And that this week, mad. you had the caffeine and Connor had the decaf. No! That is generally, that is generally a big surprise. I was so convinced I had decaf last week. But to the extent that I had an actual caffeinated drink after we finished filming. So I was worried I, was like, I had not had my coffee. So you, you literally overdosed on caffeine last Cause week? Because I couldn't sleep last week either when I went home and I got in bed. Really? I lay down and I was like, whoa, maybe I have had the caffeine. So that just, I guess, means that the placebo really plays it a big is. part. Because because I was so convinced I had the caffeine today, and when you dropped me, and I was like, 
I can't let him beat me today. Yeah. I, I've got the caffeine. This is my best me. I'm going to bring him back, and I did. Yeah. So it really is so mental. But I think we should mention that this isn't, you know, real no, this factual isn't. science because you can be on an off day. You can. You've trained maybe more than I have, and that all plays a big part. The variables of the weather. There's a, there's a lot of factors involved. Yeah. Caffeine can play a small role but also it's potentially not as much of a massive benefit as no. maybe we once thought. And when I was racing, I, I did actually, maybe not the best thing, but I did rely on it quite a lot, I especially before stages. I think we all did. Mm, we all did. But I almost I, wonder if it was for that mental boost. It, it does play with your head. If I don't have a coffee in the morning and I go on the bike, I I'm like, oh, I really need a coffee. Yeah. But when you're so used to having it every day, I think it could. could and it's that, it's that mood, it's yeah. that motivation. But the big it's... question is, is that the result you expected? Let us know in the comment section below if, you know, you think that that result is true, I yeah. guess. <laughs> and big thanks to Andy from Precision Fuel and Hydration for all the insight because yeah. it is it's such a fascinating topic and um, it's one that's been, it's been really cool to delve into today. But thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Yeah, and give... Call her a thumbs up for beating me because it's, for once. it's only going to happen once. <laughs> and thanks for not making me ride up the hill for the gas. <laughs> <laughs> See you See next, you next time. one.